Hey guys, yeah, welcome back to another video. And on this, we're just having a little game review of this new game, what I found on Steam. It's called Peak Angle Drift Online. Now, I've played this for a good couple of hours, and I've got to have a good idea of the game. And I really do enjoy it. And um, I just thought I'd do a review on it because for a game, what only costs literally eight pound or uh, something like 12 US dollars it is extremely good now uh, this is on PC and you do have some amazing stuff and some amazing cars but um, like I said this game is still in beta mode so you, you do gotta like kind of forgive it at this moment in time because it, it is still in beta mode so you can't really buy any new slots but if you look at this one uh store now look at uh what do you call it the cars now these are all cars that you do have now it, it's quite a considering the game only costs eight pound and it's still in beta mode it is still got quite a few good cars on there and um you can't really complain at all, it is such a good game, for, for what it is, it is such a good game. This is the car what I've got up there, and uh, I've just upgraded it a little bit. And um, as you can see the car, is it, the game still is in beta mode, so um, some of the cars don't show, are, are not done yet, if you can like say. But when the full game gets released, it I reckon it'll be one of them games, what? you've got to get, especially if you're on PC. Uh, but, well, on the upgrade side, it's like, it's like on this, there's, there's a shit, there's, uh, there's a load of upgrades you can do. It's like, is it, is it, the upgrade menu to me is a little bit confusing at first, but I managed to get myself around it. But um, for what you can do to the car and the upgrades you can stick on it, it is really good. Now, my only downside of this game is as you can see at the minute, my car's got 1,041 brake horsepower. But honestly, when you're driving it, it only feels like you've got 150 brake horsepower and you've got to constantly clutch kick it all the time. Um, it's a little bit odd considering the car's got that much horsepower. And the other downside, what I think about the game, is the tuning setup because literally at this moment in time, it, you can do a little bit of tuning, but it's nothing compared to what we're used to you know what I mean but it is good um, let's say that but it's like this car it hasn't got a tuning set up on it at all and it does drift really well now it is a lot of people so a lot of people in reviews said that this game you cannot play this game on controller but you can play it on controller like um, I've got my controller plugged up because like at minute it's only keyboard and mouse um, which is kind of a little bit annoying but if you go into your controllers if you get like the eight pound game you can actually use a controller but the only downside is you look you, you like you look left and you look right what you would use on your right analog stick like what you would do on like Forza Motorsports for instance um, that it doesn't recognize your right analog stick now like I said it, the game is still a beta game and like I said for eight pound you honestly cannot complain for eight oh. He honestly cannot complain for eight pounds. So we're gonna jump into a little bit of a a drift. I'm gonna do the offline practice so I can walk through the game. But you've got also you've got like these at the minute you've only got three tracks, but on these each tracks you've got different variants of these tracks. Now my favourite one is the American male mall area because it's got such a oh to me it's got such a nice area to drift on and I'll show you what I mean by it. But you don't need a powerful PC to run this game because you can see what FPS I'm getting and attempts and shit like that. But we have I've got my controller set up. It's like you cannot use your analog stick to look around your car. You, you, you literally cannot look around your car. You can just buy basically Y to look behind you, uh, RB to look behind you, and Y to look forward, and that, that, that's basically it. Looking around your car with control at the minute. But your accelerator and your brakes and everything like that are all the same. Now you can change gear without using clutch but um, you honestly do got to clutch kick it quite a lot now like I said I've been playing this for quite some time and I've actually got um, 
think it's from like rank 68 on this track on the game. Uh, uh, quite a few, I believe. But um, it's like I said, this car's got 1,000 brake horsepower, but honestly, it feels like it's got like 150 brake horsepower. It is really, 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 really weird, and I don't know if it's just me being me, if you know what I mean. But other than that, it is a really good game. Uh, like I said, for, for the price that you pay for the game, it's like, what, £8? £8, nothing. I, I would rather play this than Forza Horizon 3 or Forza Motorsport 6 all day long, to be honest with you. It just it just feels a better game. It does. It is a little bit arcade and the graphics doesn't look that good, to be honest with you. But, like I said, for, for the price that you pay for it, you can't really complain. But, um... I like say you have got to clutch kick it quite a bit if you do want to get drifting. Now I'm gonna probably go through like the tuning setup and try and make it a little bit better. But on the tuning setup as it is, this car is basically bog stock. It's got no camber, no tire pressure, no no. It, it's just stock. I look how easy and how nice and smooth the car. It, it look how nice it drifts to be honest with you. And what else thing what I do like is a steering lock. I don't know if I've seen, shown you this already. Oh, that fact. If you look at the steering lock, I, I love that. You know, to get that much steering lock. I wish like Forza was like that. But you, your steering lock is so good. But like I said, I, this is one of them games where I see if you've got a PC with some sort of graphics card in it and you like drifting, I would seriously recommend this game. It's one of them games what is it's fun, it's, it is really fun and there's a lot of things you can do on it, it's like you can go into online drift competitions, um, at the minute from what I've seen it's just points lobbies, now I haven't gone too far into the online lobbies but there are competitions on there and you can create your own um, custom drift lobbies as well so if you don't like doing like the online setups, the online maps, like uh, I'll quit out and I'll show you. If you don't like doing the global championships and stuff like you can just create your own championship and it's as easy as that. Uh, if you're like me and um, the global championships that is a little bit hard but if you want your quick championships like this you can pick whatever track you want to do. I, I like say I like this American one. I do I do go on the other ones. I'll, I'll go on the um, I'll go on the Japan one so you can have a look at that. But this is like the online sort of little drift lobby sort of thing. It's you and three other people, I believe, and basically you just compete with your points. Now you can do tandeming and stuff stuff like that. Which, to be honest with you, if a lot if I knew a lot of people playing this game, I would love to get people on this and just tandem with them. Because I think this game would be absolutely amazing to do some tandems on, to be honest with you. Because you can get some amazing lines on, you can get some amazing lines on this and some amazing angles. So personally, I, I do like this game. But the only downside with it is, like I said, the, the cars, it feels like they've got 10% worth of the horsepower of what it's actually saying it's got because this car says it's got a thousand and fourteen horsepower, I think it were, and honestly, it feels like it's probably got about hundred and fifty horsepower to be honest with you. Because you've got to constantly clutch kick it all the time, and for a car that's got one thousand brake horsepower, you shouldn't have to clutch kick it as much as what I'm having to clutch kick it on this game. If you know what I mean, even with no tuning setup on, you shouldn't have to clutch kick it as much as what you have to. But like I said, it all boils down to the price of the game. For the price of the game, I would easily spend £25 on this game and I'd still be happy with how it runs at the minute. So I'd seriously look up this game. If, if, if you've got any sort of game in PC like that, I would look it up. So I'm going to jump off now, guys. So yeah, I hope you find this uh, review of this game helpful in some ways. Um, if not, leave a dislike. If you did like this review, leave it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see some more of these, um, this game on my channel, um, feel free to let me know because I'll be happy to post this game on my YouTube. I really do enjoy playing it. So I'm going to jump off now, guys. So, yeah, thank you for watching. And 
Peace out.